What is going on, believers? Guys, we need to have a massive Apes Up BTFA moment. Um, there's some things going around. Um, we've got someone kind of fudding the project. Um, somebody who was a paid ambassador and partner for the project. So um, if you're believing the information that you're getting from this person, then uh, you're believing a person who didn't do enough research in the beginning so that they partnered with what they are now calling a scam artist. So why would you trust that person anyway? So it's not financial advice. I'm always right. Trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. All right, guys. We're not looking at charts. We're not looking at anything. All we're doing is talking. Um, Sway has been with every single person so far, a stand-up individual. Every single member of the development team has been a stand-up individual. Now, you're also seeing other people in this space who are saying things like, well, he was the developer on a project, and he was the marketing director for the project, but because on Facebook he put this was his first crypto startup, uh, people who are now looking to FUD the project because they're, for whatever reason they have, uh, the most likely reason is because they're not getting paid uh, to, uh, I mean, I, I don't know, uh, if they're not getting paid anymore as an influencer or as a partner with BTFA, but um, they were. So again, let's go back to, uh, do you believe somebody who is, um, who, who was willing to overlook it uh, when they were being paid for it, or they overlooked it because they were being paid or or um, they just don't do good research anyway and didn't find it to begin with um, there's a uh, you got to ask yourself quite a few questions uh, before you go around believing anybody in this space now listen so far everything that sway has told you has come true uh, sway has offered you uh, specific things. And listen, we know that, uh, we know Bandex didn't launch the way that we wanted. It wasn't entirely, uh, the smoothest operation, but you know what, who stood up first and said, yeah, this could have gone better sway who said, yeah, we're going to cancel the BSC project. We're going to merge everything over to the Bandex project on Ethereum sway who, uh, introduced you to a Marvel artist sway. Um, Blip Studios partnering with uh, major marketing companies to redesign the website and everything is Sway. It's always Sway, every single time. So listen, if you don't trust the guy who's been coming through for you all of that time and you can't look up liquidity locks, learn how to go look up liquidity locks, find out uh, whether or not you can trust what's going on. You make a decision. You do your own research. That's all you got to do. Do your own research. And if you find that you think the person's trustworthy, then guess what? You can continue to trust them. If you find that uh, that makes you not trust that person, then don't invest in the project or stop investing in the project. But remember, the information that you are getting is from someone who was an influencer, who was paid influencer, who didn't care about any of that whatever they're they're saying right now didn't care about any of that when they were getting paid so um who are you gonna trust that's a decision only you can make this is not financial advice my name's Blaze. i'm always right and uh i'm sticking with sway I'm trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. Even when the market's sideways, I'm looking for ways to get paid.